All right, this is the updated Iron Man forearm rocket. The uh, that I've swapped out the normal pin mechanism for a little spring there. You can see I've got the same one here. I got these just in a Home Depot uh, variety box that had a lot of much larger springs. But you can see that width is uh, like 7.8, and that way it's like 4.5 millimeters so if you want to try to reproduce you can probably use a slightly bigger spring but that's what's keeping the hinge door down now I don't have the rockets glued in I was modifying the design um, and the the version that's in the Thingiverse files is more up-to-date than what I have here but they work for demonstrations so I can collapse it down you can see it's nice and tight in there. And the spring, you have to pretty much be looking straight down the barrel to, to see it. Once more from the other side. I'm pretty happy with the design overall. Um, some improvements to make for the next version is to um, change how this lid is. Right now I can push it and it'll lay flush. Um, you can see there. But if I let up, it wants to spring up a little bit. And I think that's an alignment issue um, because right now the lid is connected by these arms to actually the same back piece and um, then the lid is connected also to the back piece. I think there's just a little bit too much alignment um, wiggle room there and so I'm going to try to move the hinges so that they are connected to this top plate. I'm going to try to move the spring which is um, currently uh, also connected to the base plate to be connected to the cover as well. And so with those changes in place, hopefully if you need to replace a servo like I needed to do for this test, um, you can just drop out the uh, this base plate and the servo mechanism and the rockets themselves without damaging the uniform cover of the... Uh, that'll be finished and painted and all that. So anyway, that's the update.